Hey there, Russ here. Welcome back to the shop. Um, I got a comment a couple, three weeks ago, and I wanted to address that question. I told him I promised him I'd do a video on it. But he was talking about my Inkra jig on there and using it on the table saw. And how you can get some very accurate cuts, just as accurate as if you had a $1,000 or plus nice table saw. And not everybody can afford those. And so, and heaven forbid, I, I don't think I would ever want to. Uh, I, I don't mind having something that doesn't cost quite so much. For years, I just used a contractor saw from Rigid. And I got the accuracy with my LS anchor system. I did put that fence on there. But I could have just as easily done it with this. Now, let me tell you. But he said that he had one problem. And it's the restriction of your anchor uh, jig. It has an 8-inch capacity. That's it. So, and he asked me, he says, well, what happens if you got to cut a, a 10 inch board or a 20 inch board or a 35 inch board? And it got me to thinking that years ago when I used my Inkra, it only had a 24 inch capacity. So I did run across this problem. And the way I addressed it was actually quite simple. A no brainer. Now the bad news is, yes, you're going to have to do math. Yes, the M word. But that's just the way life is sometimes. I avoid it as much as I can, but sometimes when you want true accuracy, this is one of those cases that on the table saw and using this, that's what you have to do. Now, the upside is, is I bought this used on eBay for 20 bucks. So I got a really accurate fence to the 32nd of an inch for $20. And I could use this full time on here without any problem to get that accuracy. And I don't care what size board I'm cutting. I can get the accuracy I'm looking for. Let me show you how I overcome the 8-inch scale uh, to answer his question. And, and we'll see what you think about it. So anyway, I have a beast mire, so I don't use it very often. And I almost, I just never use it over 8 inches. If I'm over 8 inches, I find that I can set up with my beast mire, beast mire, mire fence and get an accurate cut. But, uh... In relationship to having to use one of these, if you had a cheap fence, a cheap saw, and all you really had, all you really need to get the accuracy of a, a fifteen hundred dollar or more table saw, you can do it with just something this cheap. So, what you have is to use it. I set it to scale to zero, extending it all the way out. I bring this up to my saw blade and lock it down. And now I can move this scale and up to 8 inches, I'll get a stream accuracy on a cut. But uh, the gentleman, he asked me, he says, well, what if you're doing a 12-inch cut? Or a 19-inch cut? Or a 35-inch cut, what do you do? Well, that's actually not too hard to figure out. Um, what I did when I had my LS, it had a 24-inch capacity. But I kept a couple of boards on hand that were actually cut and then if I had to go over eight inches I just would do a little math using one of my boards let me explain so let's say I want to do a 12 inch cut on this I cut two boards and both of them are eight inches by ten inches sometimes I'll use ten sometimes I'll use the eight and I just use this as a spacer sometimes I have to use the two eight inches so just figure out what you're going to do ahead of time to make that cut and on the fly in just a couple of seconds we can adjust this so that I can use this scale accurately and get an accurate cut on any size board so I set the zero I bring this back and let's put the 10 inch in here that means that my scale starts at 10 inches when I come up and bring this up and lock it down now I know I have 10 inches, so my scale starts at 10 to 18. So now if I move this 2 inches, I can make an accurate 12 inch cut or somewhere in between. If I'm over 18, instead of running a 10 inch, all I do quite simply is I take both of these at 8 inches, set them in between, and now I know I have 16 inches. I want a 19 inch cut. Now is when it really gets tough on the math. 16 plus 3, and I got 19. Just kidding. It's not that hard. So anyway, so I would add 3 inches to my scale, make my cut, and I know that I'm there. So any size board will work. I found that the 8 and 10 inch 
ratio gives me pretty good coverage to any increment that I want to cut quickly and easily. But it's just a matter of setting the spacer in and setting it up so your scale will give you that 8 inch range that you're looking for. Quick and easy. When I had my uh, LS, it was an LS24 I believe. So I had a 24 inch capacity on it. I like that fence. I had it on a contractor saw. And anytime I was below 24, it was great. But when I went above 24, I saw that there was a problem. So I set up a couple of boards to allow me to quickly adjust it. And I just did simple math to make sure I got the accurate cut. Works great. You can use this full time and be dead on accurate. And you don't need to spend a ton of money to do it. So anyway, I hope this answers that gentleman's question. I'm sorry I can't remember your name. It's been a couple, three weeks ago, and I honestly can't remember where I saw that comment, and I didn't really feel like going back and looking for it. But I'm sure that this will do it. If you have any questions more about this, leave them in the comments, and I'll address it. Uh, if you learned something here or you like this video, hit that like button. Remember, there's always a way to get around something. You don't have to spend tons of money in your shop to have an accurate cutting in your shop. So, uh, I want to thank you for stopping by. Most importantly, please come back again because I am nowhere near done. We'll see you again very soon. Bye.